Well, it seems like uh, ever since Google Plus integrated with YouTube uh, on the comments, uh, some of the comments I just simply can't answer. There's no reply button. So uh, what I thought I would do is maybe just make a video every week or two answering some of those questions. And sometimes it's just a lot easier to answer a question uh, on a video. And often uh, a lot of people have the same question. So anyway, um, I had gotten a comment uh, from someone who had built an extension table and they used MDF and they finished the table with the polyacrylic by Minwax, the same finish that I used. And the only issue they had was that the finish on the top was a little sticky. So when they were pushing sheet stock through the saw, it just didn't slide real well. So what they did was wax the surface of the top with a paste wax. And I've done that on this side of the table and this side of the table is still untreated. Let me show you the difference with this bean bag. <laughs> I threw that a little bit hard. One more time. So it doesn't slide real good, but this side, it just slides right off. What I like to use is butcher's wax, and I always have some of this around. I use it in my artwork, and I use it on some of my furniture, so it's just always there. But before I wax the top, I'm going to lightly wet sand it with 500 grit sandpaper, and uh, I just made a little sanding block. So I pour a little water on the tabletop, and what this will do is just get rid of any of these little high spots that you always get in the finish. I've dried the top off and now I'm going to apply a little of the butcher's wax to the top here. And I'm just using another clean paper towel to apply the wax. I've let the wax dry for a few minutes and now I'm going to buff it out with another clean paper towel. I also like to use the butcher's wax on my table saw, but when I apply the wax to my table saw I use 4-0 steel wool. And I like to do this maybe every three or four weeks. It helps keep rust from developing on the tabletop and it just makes the material slide really nicely across the table. And one other thing I got a few emails about was what kind of hinges did I use and where can I find them. I got these at Lowe's and they came in this 10 pack and I'll zoom in and show you the model number. All right, well that's about it and you know for me it's actually a lot easier to answer some of these questions in a video as opposed to writing a lot of emails. Notice how I did the two finger, that's how I type. So um, anyway, uh, if you have a particular product that you like to use on your tabletops, please leave it in the comments. I'd like to see what they are and I'm sure so would others. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.